going today? My name is Carissa. I am a Pilates instructor that is going to guide you guys through your Pilates practice today. Um, I have a magic circle, um, ring of fire, whatever you guys want to call it. If you don't have one of these, no problem. You can use a Pilates ball, you can use a rolled up towel, or you can do any of these exercises without. I'll be explaining all the modifications as we go along. This workout's gonna be appropriate for everybody. And of course, leave anything out that doesn't feel appropriate for you. So we're just gonna start by stretching. I'm gonna have you take your circle, your ball, your rolled up towel, or just your palm to the floor. And it's gonna be on the right side of your hip, as far away from your hip so that your arm can be nice and long and straight. We're gonna give that circle ball towel or just the floor a gentle push. And then as we exhale, we're gonna take that left arm and reach up and over. Now you can sit however you like, but I want you to make sure that your sit bones are pressing down. And if this is a side bend, like you could easily slide between two panes of glass. You're activating underneath that right arm. You should feel your lat. You're gonna hold it here, take an inhale, and then slowly begin to stack the spine back up to vertical and come back to the center. Nice full inhale here. Exhale, press it down, lengthen out. Now drop that shoulder out of the ear. We don't want to um, kind of shorten that space. We want to keep the neck long. Breathe. And then come back. Now on this very third one, we're going to hold the side bend and we're going to find rotation. Nice full inhale. Exhale, press and hold. Now look at that right palm. Now square your shoulders to that circle ball towel. Push down and find some rotation in the spine. Look past the fingertips, pull the belly back. Take a full inhale, complete exhale. And then slowly we come back to center. One more time, nice full inhale. Exhale, circle down, arm up, hollow out, find your side bend, then find that rotation. Maybe the top of the circle angle slightly away as you push down and find that rotation, that stretch in your thoracic spine. Look past your fingertips and breathe. Top arm up, bring it back through. Okie dokes, left side. Circle ball towel and arms length away and let that left hip. Press that circle down, sit up tall. Exhale, find the side, bend, reach, reach, reach those fingertips. Bicep alongside the ear, inhale, stack the spine, lengthen as you come back up. Exhale, press, find that side bend. Inhale, stack and lengthen. Now let's add that rotation, press it down. Rotate, look at the circle, stack the palms, aim it slightly away as you push down and breathe. Drop that shoulder. Sit bones are still rooted. You're kind of twisting from the center of the spine. Push that circle down, take the top arm up, bring it back. That's it, last one. Push it down, reach it up, rotate, step, stretch, breathe. Drop those shoulders. And then slowly but surely we come all the way back. Okie dokes, beautiful work you guys. Let's sit in the middle of our mat facing the front edge. Now, let's take that lovely circle. It's gonna go between your inner thighs, I know, fun. Towel ball, whatever you got, they can go instead. Now, if you have the circle, you might have to take your feet a tiny bit wider than hip width, and that's totally okay. Find some comfort, make sure you're nice and even. Again, ball, towel, or just squeeze the legs together if that feels better. And then reach your arms forward, take an inhale. Now we're gonna go into a little pelvic curl. And as you do that, I want you to squeeze the circle. Take a nice full inhale. And on the exhale, release the circle just a touch as you come back up to a tall seat. Inhale here, exhale, belly pulls back, pelvic curl under. It's like you're flattening your sacrum on the mat. As you squeeze that circle, and then slowly come up in the next exhale. So remembering you move on the exhale in Pilates. Inhale here. Plant those feet. Don't roll to the outer edges or the inner edges. You got it. Roll back. Hollow. Find that space. And then let it go. Last one. We're going to stay back there. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. Tuck. Look forward. All right. You guys know what's coming. We're going to squeeze it. Squeeze. 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 Connect. Deep core. Pelvic floor. Inner thighs. Those adductors are working so hard. Shoulders are out of the ears and the gaze is forward for eight, seven, six. You got this. Five. Keep squeezing. Four, three, 
two and one. Squeeze the circle. Now go ahead and lean back. You want your elbows directly under the shoulders. You can press your palms down flat. Squeeze your shoulders in, lift your chest up, look forward. Okay, squeeze that circle. Don't release the circle. Float the legs up and then tap it down. This is a hip hinge. Now nothing else moves but the legs from the hip. So push into the forearms, keep the chest lifted and the gaze forward, give that circle a nice little squeeze. We're here for four, for three, two, one, hold it here. Squeeze that circle, draw some circles with the knees, going left to right. Now we go right, to left, keep that chest lifted, push into those arms. Left to right. Squeeze that circle, right to left. Four more, belly in. Left to right, keep that lift in the chest. Right to left, squeeze that circle, belly in. We're almost there, so close. You're getting a little shaky? I am. <laughs> Come back to center, look forward, drop the feet. Gently walk down into your elbows and then roll back onto your back. Look at out. So flat on your back. Back of the head is rested. Now it's hard to find a true hip width with this circle. So you're gonna walk your feet in a little bit. Squeeze that circle as much as you can. You can go a little wider, right? And I'm gonna slow my circle a little bit because I'm feeling my knees. Now if that's what's happening to you, make sure you're going more inner thighs, lower towards your um, pelvis than really that close to the knees. We want to make sure hips, knees, and um, heels are in a similar line of energy. They might be slightly externally rotated out, but just make sure they're equal. And then arms down, shoulders relaxed. Now we're going to take an inhale. On the exhale, you're going to squeeze that circle. Give it a squeeze. And then lift your hips straight up. Pause at the tippy top. Take a sip of air. Exhale, release the circle as you lower straight spine right back down. So it's a, hip, it's a neutral spine or flat back bridge. Press into the palms. Pull the belly in. Exhale, squeeze, lift, pause at the top, take your sip of air. Exhale, release some tension as you reach the tailbone back to the heel and lower. Keep all five toes planted on that floor. Take an inhale, exhale, squeeze and lift. Belly pulls in and up, hold it at the top, and then we hinge, we lower. We're almost there, nice full inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Lift, belly pulls in and out. Now we're gonna stay here. We're in a diagonal, shoulders, hips, knees. Keep those hips lifted, but don't let those ribs pop. Press down into those triceps. We're gonna squeeze the circle in, in, in. So you might have a ball, you might have a towel, you might just be squeezing the legs together for 10, for nine, don't lose the lift. Eight, seven, glutes on, six, five. Knees to the sky, four, we're almost there. Three, two, and hold the tension, just hold it. No movement, just breathe for eight. Squeeze that circle in for seven. No pulses, just a consistent squeeze. Six, belly pulls in and out. Five, you should feel that as the inner thighs. Four, three, last two. Hinge and lower down. Beautiful, stretch it out. Okie dokes. So, heels in line with those sit bones again. Make sure your heels are pretty much under the knees, maybe an inch or two forward of those knees. Spread your toes, push it down. Now, holding the circle between the heels of your hands, reach your arms up, take your shoulders and wrap them down the back, pull the belly in and up. So, when we take the arms out of the equation for the bridge, we're forced to use a little more abdominals. I wanna try and make this a full body movement, so I'm gonna squeeze the circle a touch and get into my lats. I'm gonna take a nice full inhale, keeping that nice consistent squeeze. Just another little tip about the circle, we don't wrap our fingers around it, we keep the fingertips long and we keep it between the heels of the hands. Now you're gonna tuck that tail, pull your abdominals in and up, roll up to your bridge. Take a sip of air at the tippy top, and then exhale, try to get a little longer. It's like your weights are, um, your abdominals are like weights, right? They're just weighting the spine down one at a time. Nice full inhale. One vertebra at a time. Exhale, roll up. Squeeze that circle. Keep those lats connected. Shoulders are down. And then exhale, roll it back down. So important to do these exercises. We're mobilizing our spine. 
we're noticing in our body, is there any piece that is just not moving today, right? And that's okay, that happens sometimes. We're gonna focus, we're gonna identify what that piece is, and then we're gonna focus the breath towards that space. See if we can help get a little more mobility. This is gonna be our last one. Squeeze the circle, pull your abdominals in, tuck your tail, and roll yourself up to bridge. All right, we're here. Hips are gonna be lifted and level. We're gonna shift the weight energetically to the right foot. We're gonna lift the left knee, and we're gonna tap the circle. Right there, I think we'll tap it. And then we're gonna hinge and tap the toe, and then lift it back up, tap, and then hinge and tap the toe. Keep the bridge, keep the lift, don't let the hips drop. Woo! Last two. And one. Okay, foot down. Notice what happened to those hips. Make sure you're still lifting level. Belly in. Keep the hips level. Shift the weight energetically to left foot. Right knee lifts. Tap the circle. Tap the toes. Lift. Tap. Hips stay lifted and level. Tap. The knee might not tap the circle. I'm a little long. My arms are a little long for this, but that's okay. Last one. Lift. And tap, bring it down, lift up those hips, take a sip of air. Now as we roll the spine down, we're gonna reach those arms overhead. Find a nice little stretch, nice little breath, and then we'll bring it back. Circle's gonna stay here. We're gonna do a series of five. So, nice little inhale, walk those knees into the chest. On the exhale, Lift your chest and hover your circle just right over your shins. Now you're looking at the knees the whole time. Your belly's in, your shoulder blades are connected. Just the torso is still resting on the mat. Nice and controlled on the inhale, we extend the arms. Squeeze that circle just a touch. And on the exhale, we bring it back in. You can lift the head a little higher on the exhale if you want to add a little more abdominal work. Just make sure your low back feels nice and stable. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, reach it away. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Take a rest. I don't think we did single leg stretch, you guys. We went right into double. So, if we did do it, and I'm just having a brain fart, then we'll do a second set. If we didn't do it, then let's do it now. Knees to chest. Circle over the shins. Squeeze, set those shoulders. Lift, inhale, left knee in, right leg extends. Exhale, pull the belly down, and switch. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. For four, three, belly pulls back. Two, gentle squeeze of the circle. One, and bring it down. Okay, I don't think we did this. So we just went out of order, but that's totally fine. All right, stretch out your back. Now we're switching the position of the circle for the next one, which is single straight leg stretch. So you're gonna hold your circle, you're gonna hold on like this. Now, if you don't have the circle and you're using the ball of the towel, those are good for the first two exercises. This one gets a little complicated, so you might just wanna do the classical variation holding your ankle if you have the circle. Look, um, he, Link the ball of your left foot inside the circle and then take your right leg and extend it, but let that right leg float. Now push, set the shoulders, pull the belly in. Exhale, lift. Look at the knee. Now you're gonna pull, so bent elbows, that left leg in for two. You're gonna lift the circle, keep it where it is, switch the legs. Pulse, pulse, look at the knee. Lift the circle, switch the legs. Pulse, pulse. So close. Find that length. Last one. And go ahead and take a rest. So good. Got that nice little hamstring stretch there. What's not to love? All right. Well, this next exercise is actually going to be something that might not be a lot to love. So. We're gonna put the circle between our ankles. When I say that, it's gonna go when your legs are in this direction, when your toes are up at the sky, you're gonna go under the ankle bone closest to your knee. So find a comfortable place. It's not gonna be super comfy, but we got this. I bend my knees just a touch, right? Cause I got a little bit of tightness in those hamstrings. I don't like to overexert. 
You can go as straight as you can. You can go as bent as you need to. Now, circle the arms back behind the head, clasp your hands behind the head, and then pull the belly back. You can be imprint neutral, whatever works. Now we're gonna exhale. Belly scoops in, you're gonna lift. You're trying to get that bottom rib to get the t kiss the tops of your hips. Reach your elbows wide, squeeze the circle. Now we're gonna do crisscross. We're gonna reach right elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. If you can, keep the chest lifted, go ahead. Otherwise, lower in the center. And then if that feels okay, we're gonna add a little rotation. Twist the left leg from the hip as the right elbow reaches to the left knee. Twist the right leg from the hip as the left elbow reaches for the right knee. And keep going. You can do this with a ball or just squeeze the legs together. Losing the circle for four. That's okay. For three. Ooh, feel that burn for two. And for one. Come back to center and lower it down. Knees go left. Knees go right. Think just little tiny windshield wipers in that car. Okie dokes. Circle between the ankles. Last set. Last um, exercise we have in this set is our leg lowers. So, same idea. Circle there. Legs up. Gentle bend the knees. Okay, point the toes. Now, head, hands behind the head, chest lifted. Hands under the hips, supported neutral, or just head down. Whatever works. Belly in. Ribs down. Nice, and, nice full inhale. Exhale, lift. Now we hold the lift. We inhale to lower straight legs about halfway down. We exhale, flex the feet and return. Now, in these exercises, the low back stays stable and still. That dictates how low we let the legs go. We have five more. Remember, you're not pulling your head up with your hands. Last one. So good. Take a rest. Knees go left. Knees go right. Okay, next piece of the puzzle. So we did our series of five. Now we're gonna do some assisted sit-ups with the circle. How do we do that? Padded part of the circle. So you're gonna go behind the base of the skull where it meets the neck, right? And then we'll just rest it back down. It's a little awkward, that's okay. Then you're gonna hook your thumbs right next to the padded part that's at the top. Now rest your head back. Make sure you feel somewhat comfy. This, well, the idea here is this is gonna train your abdominals to work, your neck to try to stay out. You're gonna find the right amount of spinal flexion to get deeper into the core. Let's start with our feet down, just hip width. Take an inhale, rest the head. And on the exhale, belly pulls in and you're gonna do your little curl up. Inhale, lower back down. So the idea, bottom rib, kiss the top of those hips. We're not pulling with the arms. We're just holding the circle in place with the arms. We're not pulling with the head or neck because they are resting inside the circle. We're gonna hold it up here. Elbows wide, belly in. Maybe you have a flat back, maybe not. We're gonna hold. Now we're gonna float the left leg up. Float the right leg up. Rest the head. Twist, center. Twist. Center. The back of the hips are even and level. We're not letting them twist with us. It's just the upper body. Think about your waist. Rest the head back for eight. For seven. Try not to hold the arms. Six. You will feel your legs a little. Five. Pull that belly back and in. Three, four. Ooh, I can't even count anymore. Three. Two. And one. Feet down. Take the circle out. Take a moment. <laughs> Take a couple deep breaths. So good. Okay, let's get onto our left side and do some sideline leg work. So, lots of fun things we can do with the circle. If you don't have a circle, no problem. You can do these exercises without, okay? If you do have the circle, you're gonna put your legs inside the circle. You're gonna make, bend your knees and stack hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, knee over knee. Make sure it's like the padded part of the circle that's on the floor because you're gonna lift up to the inside pad. 
Now all we do, we make sure all the joints are pointing forward, we keep that core connected. We're gonna lift our top right leg up, and we're just gonna lift, 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 and we're gonna be here for eight. Squeeze from the outside, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now hold it up there, squeeze it up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower it down. Next thing we do, we're gonna go internal rotation from that top right hip, all the joints row down towards the floor. Now connect to the pad of the circle. It might be behind the back of your right thigh. Stay here and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Keep that rotation, lower and lift. And we're gonna be here for eight. Remember, that rotation doesn't come from the ankle. Seven comes from the hip. Six, five, four. Belly pulls in and up for three. All those joints point to the floor. Two, one. Now lift it up, hold it there, and lift up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Okay, top right leg, open the hip. External rotation. Take the leg and lift it to the top to the inside pad of the circle. Hips and shoulders are stacked. And we lift up and we lower down. We lift it up. We lower it down. So external rotation of the hip. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. And let's be here for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and then we're gonna lift and hold. One, and then we just lift up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Okay, we're gonna do, legs are gonna go long, and then we're gonna lower the circle so it's now more closer to our left ankle, make sure everything's even. Take the top right leg and bring it on top of that. So I'm gonna move on to my forearm for this one. I'll go into the shoulder. Now flex your feet. Now we're gonna do some inner thighs. You're gonna squeeze the circle down on an exhale. Inhale, lift it up. Squeeze it down on an exhale. Inhale, lift it up. Squeeze it down. Lift it up, keep the side body long. Squeeze it down, lift it up. All right, we're gonna be here for eight. Seven, make sure those joints don't rotate. Everything stays stacked, belly stays in. Six, squeeze it down, lift it up. Five, four, three, two. Hold it down at the bottom and pulse it. Down, 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 down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one lift it up last thing we do both long legs go in the circle i'm going to come down to my elbow for this one now you're going to resist the circle apart you're going to lift both legs so you're bouncing on the left hip what we're going to do top right leg is going to rotate forward as the bottom left leg rotates back come to center stacking and then right leg back left leg forward come to center stack it Go forward, back, kind of center stack it, forward, back. I'm losing it a little, so just let me just quickly get a better grip. Forward, back, top leg goes forward, and back. You got it, four, eight, seven, stay on your side, six, five, four, feel that side body, Three, two, 
One. Lower it down, take a rest. So good, okay. Let's switch it around. Got a whole nother side to do. Same idea. Legs in the circle, circle on the thighs, outer thighs there. Bend your knees. Land that bottom right leg to the inside pad of the circle. Come on down. Stack it all up. Now we lift that left leg up. We lower it straight down. All the joints are just pointing forward. Parallel stack tips. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Eight. Seven. Try to rip that circle apart. Six. I enter and get those outer hips. Five. Four. Three. We're almost there. Two. Really lifting that outer left hip. One. Hold it at the top. And lift. Lift. Lift and lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower down. Extend the leg. Internal rotation. Hips, knees, ankles, toes, point to the floor. You're going to hit the inside of the circle with the back of your left thigh. Lift and lower. Make sure you're getting in the right spot. Lift and lower. Maintain that rotation. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. And we're here. Eight. Don't lose that rotation. Seven. Six. Five. Almost there. Four. So good. Three. Feel that little bit of burn. And two. On the last one, we lift and we hold. And we go up, up, up. Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Let's go to external. Almost there. Keep the stacking of the hips. This one can be tricky because that left hip just naturally is going to want to roll back. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Lift it up and hold it. Tiny, 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 tiny. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Lower down. Don't worry. We will stretch. We are not crazy. <laughs> okay. Extend and find that, and then take that top left leg, bring it on top of the circle, flex those toes. Exhale, straight leg pushes down like you're gonna squish that circle in half. Inhale up. No rotation in the leg, the knee, the ankle, the hip. Everything's pointing forward. Squeeze from your inner thigh. We're almost there. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze from the inner thigh. Lower it down, last one. We pulse it down, 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 down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up. Both legs go in that lovely circle. Okay, lift the legs. Here we go. Top leg forward, bottom leg back, top leg back, bottom leg forward. Roll from the hip. Keep the resistance pulling the circle apart. Try not to let your torso roll into the back. For eight, seven, whittle from the waist, six, five, four, Three, we're almost there. Two, one. So good. Okie dokes. Lower down onto your back. Take your circle. Let's use it for good this time for some stretches. So, right ball of foot, 
In the circle, left leg extends, heel light the sit bone, straighten your right leg. Don't have a circle, use your towel, unroll it, or use a yoga strap or something of that nature. Shoulders out of the ears, push through that right heel. Now I want the inside of the circle on the ball of your foot so that we can mobilize our ankle. You're gonna point your toes, flex your foot. Planter flex, dorsal flex. Two more. Now keep the foot flexed. Straighten that leg as much as you can. Pull it in towards your chest. Breathe. Try to, try to keep that leg as straight as possible at the back of the hips, even on the mat. For four, for three, for two. Hold the circle in the right hand only. Keep the back of your left hip down. Guide your right leg out to the right. Now this is not a spinal twist. Your torso and, all, and the left leg are still pointing up at the ceiling. Pull that right leg in a little closer if you can. Breathe. For four. Three. Keep breathing. Two. And then take that right leg back to the top. Grab the circle in the left hand. Take the right arm out wide to the floor. Straighten the right leg as much as you can and then let it cross just a few inches. It does not have to go super far. We're also not going into a spinal twist. So the back of the right hip can lift a touch, but we're not stacking the right hip over the left and we're not letting the shoulder blades come off our mat. Straighten and breathe. Push through that heel. For four, three, two. Bring it up to the top. Now last one. Bend the right knee. Left ankle over that right knee. You're just holding your circle. If you have any knee issues, flex your feet. Your circle should feel pretty parallel to the floor. You can also hold the circle with one hand, push the knee away with the other. If you want to get real fancy. Okie dokes. Right leg up. Left leg reaches back, to its original footprint, and let's switch. Left ball of the foot in the circle. Right leg extends, heel light the sit bone. Get a good grip on the circle, straighten the leg. Relax your shoulders. Remember that the circle needs to be on the ball of your foot so you can properly mobilize the ankle. Back of the hips are nice and even. Point, flex. Point, flex. Point, Flex, point, and flex. Hold the dorsal flexion of the ankle, push the heel to the ceiling, and then pull that straight left leg in as much as you can. You're gonna notice one side is probably a lot tighter than the other. Just breathe. You got this, so important for your body to stretch. Hold the circle in the left hand, anchor the right hip, maybe take the right arm out to the right, and then let that left leg just fall out to the side. Oop, I'm hitting my, hitting my good old dresser there, so let's scoot and try it again. There we go. You want space, right? Because so we're trying to open up those adductors, that groin. Again, don't twist. For four, three, Two, bring that leg to the top, hold the circle in the right hand, straighten the left leg as much as possible, let the left leg gently cross to the right, try to really lengthen out and breathe. This is your lovely IT band we're opening up here. So breathe, shoulders down, push through that heel. And then slowly bring it back. Let's finish with the figure four. Bend that left knee, cross your right ankle over the left knee, hold the circle parallel to the floor. And then maybe, let's see how I did this on the other side, I gotta wrap my toes, there we go. Maybe we push that right hip away, right knee away. Keep the back of the hips nice and long. Just a little glute stretch.
breathe wherever you are. All right, take it, release it, feet down, knees left, knees right. Let's roll it up, legs extend, squeeze them together, circle between the heels and the hands, belly in. Look through the circle as you start, start to roll each vertebra off the mat. Stretch, hold, now take your legs out, mat width and sit up real tall. So you might have to scoop the flesh back from behind your sit bones or sit up on a block or something if you need. Now put that circle down so that it is kind of between the two knees and then flex your feet. Put your hands at the top of the circle, pull your belly back. Gentle tension in that circle, set the arms. Take a nice full inhale and as you exhale, push the circle down, hollow out the belly and do a little round forward. Now the top of the circle will angle forward of the bottom of the circle. And then we push the circle down and stack the spine up. Inhale here, exhale, push it down, hollow, connect under those arms, reach the crown of the head forward, inhale, exhale, press it down, strap it up, two more, flex those feet, nice full inhale, exhale, press it down, hollow, last one. So good. Let's do a little upper body with this lovely circle. So sit tall, take the circle, bring it between the heels and the hands, fingertips long and reach the arms forward. Your arms are about shoulder height, maybe a little lower, shoulders are down under the ears and all we're gonna do is squeeze, 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 right? So squeeze that circle. So we're thinking about inner arms, chest, those lats. You got it, fingertips are long in. We're just squeezing for 10, belly pulls in. Nine, keep that length in the spine. Eight, seven, keep it squeezing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, let's take it to the outer left hip. Arm is long, fingertips point down. Squeeze, in, 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 in. Eight, seven, just the arms move, the spine stays long. Six, five, four, three, you've got this, two, and one. Now let's go to the other side. So if you don't have a circle, you can grab some weights, or you could just push the ball down to the side of you, or you could squeeze the ball between your two palms, right? Eight, seven, fingertips are long. Six, five, squeeze under that arm. Four, keep those shoulders down. Three, and nice and level. Two, and one, beautiful work. Now, we put the circle down so that the padded part is in the middle of our mat. What are we gonna do next? We are gonna do push-ups with the circle. Come into an all fours. Circle goes underneath your breastbone. Don't have a circle, just do regular push-ups, right? So I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna do chest press style. So I'm gonna spiral my fingertips slightly and pinky fingers line up at the side edge of the mat. And then I'm gonna step myself out to plank and then I'm gonna drop my knees. If that's how I'm gonna do my push-ups, so you have many options. Now I'm gonna bend my elbows. And then I'm gonna straighten my arms. Bend my elbows, straighten my arms for eight. Keep your spine nice and stable. Seven, six, five. So good. Four, three. Oh, my arms are gonna be sore tomorrow. Two, one, go ahead, sit back, roll that circle with you, take the arms, reach them up, twist right, twist left, okay, tricep style push-ups are next, 
don't have the circle, you're gonna do them from palms, fists, or forearms. You can do body, you can do body saws if you need to. You can do them from the wall, you can do them from a chair. So many options, you can do tricep dips. We're gonna make do with what we got, right? And keep going. Okay, tricep style. Your hands are a little more narrow, but your fingers are still wide. Start, make sure shoulders, elbows, and wrists are lined up. Step back, whoop, so not let that circle twist. Step back to plank, drop the knees, belly pulls in, and we're here. Whew. Inhale down, exhale up. Hug those elbows close to the side body. You've got this. Elbows point directly back. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We did it. Sit back, do a child's pose. Don't call that. Don't bring a fire for nothing. Reach it forward. Stack your spine, come up. Reach out of the crown of the head. Spinal extensions next, everybody. So, we're gonna come onto our belly. Now, this lovely circle, we're gonna flip it. We want it to be, I'm gonna scoot a little bit further back so you can see me better. We want the padded part to be on the floor in front of our mat. We're gonna stack our palms. I'm gonna go left on the circle, right over the left, and then spine long. So there's a lot of movement in the shoulders. If you're a shoulder person, any injuries, hands under the shoulders, do baby swan instead. Extend the legs, point the toes, make sure your feet aren't sickling in or out. Quads on, glutes on, tuck that tail. Take an inhale. Circle presses down, you lift up. Exhale, circle releases tension as you lower down. We've got five. Now, common things that happen here is that if you don't angle, if you don't stack the circle, it might feel like it's going to pop away from you. You might have to angle it a little bit at the top, but try to get mostly a stacking of the padded parts, one on the other. And then arms are straight and you're moving from under the arms. If this doesn't feel okay in your low back, just put your hands under your shoulders and do a baby swan. You guys have got this. Do what feels best for you. We always modify for our own bodies. It's nice to challenge yourself but not at the sake for the risk of injury, right? We all have limitations, every single person, no problem. Reach those legs out long, come up. Let's switch this hand that is on the circle. Right palm down, left palm over the right, lower. Shoulders out of the ears, point the toes back, get everything on, legs are active behind you. Inhale, press down and lift. Exhale, release and lower, so good. These feel so nice. Four. Use that breath. Three. Ooh, I got a cramp in my toe. Two. One. All right. Circle. Lose it. Turn your head. Bend your knees. Feet go right, feet go left. Okie dokes, like send those legs, tuck those toes under you. Hands go under your shoulders, squeeze your elbows and close. Pull that belly back, now look down. Lift up from the upper body just a touch and then lift those hips, get into your plank shape. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now, I'm gonna walk my feet in and pike my hips up and then push my heels down. So we call this an upstretch in Pilates. It might also be known as a downward facing dog in different yoga practices. Now walk yourself out to your plank. Get your back straight. Push the floor away and breathe. Set those shoulders. Find that stacking. The back of the neck is long. The belly is pulled in. So good, everybody. We're almost to stretches. 30 more seconds of plank. You got this. This is a full body move. You're feeling everything. That shoulder girdle connection, those legs and glutes and quads, that core, the length in your spine. So good, you guys. For 10, keep pushing that floor. Nine, breathe. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, Woo! don't lose it, two, and one, knees down, spiral the big toes to touch, sit back and stretch, wiggle, 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 you got this, so good, okay, stack and come back up, nice work, we made it to some stretches, so sit up nice and tall, Let's grab that circle. We're going to kind of finish the same way we started with those side bends. Left hand up to the left. So again, you can use a towel or a ball. Just put your hand on the earth. This time I want you to push that circle down. Take that right arm, reach it up and over. Now from the side bend, we're just going to do tiny little pulses. Down, 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 down. Don't move your spine. Four, three, two, and one. Now rotate. Right hand stacking over the left. And then stretch it slightly away. Crown of the head reaching away towards the top of the circle. Belly pulls in. Move from the middle of the back. Stack it back. Top arm up. Bring yourself back through. Right side. So circle ball towel. Just at the side. Arms length away at the right side of your hip. Push the circle down. Activate under that arm. Left arm up and over, bring it. You got this. Push it down, 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 down. Don't move your spine. Four, three, belly in. Two, find that stretch. One, push it down, look at it. Take the left arm up and over, stretch it away. Take it back. Bring it all the way through. Circle down. Right arm up. Bend your right elbow. Pat yourself on the back with your right palm between those two shoulder blades. Left hand goes overhead to grab the right elbow. Tricep stretch. Lift the heart. Shoulders are down. Breathe. It's nice to focus the attention of your breath into the area of your body that you're stretching. So currently we're stretching, we're breathing into those triceps, those shoulders, the chest. Deep breaths. Completely filling up those lungs. Completely emptying out. Let's switch. Pat yourself on the back with the left palm. Grab the left elbow with your right palm. Lift that heart up, breathe. Pull it back, keep the chest lifted. Try not to tuck the chin into the chest when you're stretching. We do so much rounding forward in our day to day. I want you to think more about lifting, opening, lengthening, right? One more breath. Reach those arms up. I want you to shake out the wrists, do little jazz hands on the way down. Shake out the wrists on the way up. Just releasing any energy from the body, right? Let it all go. And then let's do our full arm circles. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, open. Two more. Last one. Reach it up. Beautiful work, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that little circle workout. And I will see you again soon.